hello there. My name's David Hall. I live in Wilmington, California. Wilmington is the uh, harbor area for Los Angeles. And I collect uh, Denver, Denver glass. In other words, the insulators and the bottles all, all made by the same company. And uh, what we had here was a series of, of three companies at the same location in Val Verde, Colorado, which is actually a suburb of Denver, neighborhood of Denver. And the first company we're going to talk about is Valverde Glass Company, which was purchased by Robert Good in 1896. And they had a fire in 1899. Uh, the plant closed, and it was reorganized and opened up as Western Flint Glass. And they, and they only were in business for one year, 1899. And some of the, I can point to them if you want. Like here's the insulator for Robert Good. Here's the insulator for Western Flint. And then the third company I'm gonna talk about is, is WGM, Western Glass Manufacturing Company. They were in business from 1900 to 1909. And then of course in 1909 there was another fire and then they, they closed and never reopened. So those are the three companies. And what I, I started, I started collecting the insulators because I love the colors, shades. And then I started going to the uh, insulator shows and one particular uh, fellow of mine, his name's Mike Miller, who lives in the Denver area. He started bringing the bottles that were made by the same company that made the insulators. So the, uh, the most, 90% of the bottles here are made by the WGM company. And if you see this buckle, the nickname is a buckle or it's an ellipse with a line through it or an oval with a line through it. It's similar to their, uh, their logo that was on their uh, letterheads. So they had many customers. Uh, you can see the states there. You, you can count nine different states that they had customers in. So the customer base was very, uh, very large. And uh, some of the insulators were found in California and even Oregon. There's one particular insulator down here. It's nicknamed the Grand Canyon. That's right here, the Grand Canyon. They were used on a line from Williams, Arizona to the, to the Grand Canyon. And, they, and those were probably made by WFG because of the color shades. So, but uh, I've enjoyed just seeing what I can find and collecting all the color shades and all the different cities and just, you know, surprising where you find next what, what state they might have had a customer in. And so uh, they made very, um, a lot of food product bottles olives, pickles, mustards, extracts, shoe fly whiskeys, berry bottles. There's even a milk bottle, I don't have one yet. And a cathedral pickle as well. But some of the states that encompass uh, Fort Worth, Texas, Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, Las Vegas, New Mexico, Douglas, Arizona. It's a couple of Douglas, Arizona's right there, very rare. In fact, of the whole state of Arizona, those are the only two Arizona bottles that are made by the WGM company. And that's uh, right next to the ketchup bottles down there. And then you've got uh, Utah. Utah is probably the second state next to Colorado that has quite a bit of uh, Denver-made bottles. So I've got Utah right here. And then on the other side, the middle shelf, I've got Utah across there, Salt Lake and so on. And you've got uh, Idaho. Here's some Boise, and uh, one new one I got for this company is uh, Pocatillo, Idaho. And uh, got Cheyenne, Wyoming. And a new one we found recently is some Valentine, Nebraska. It is in the center shelf in the center, that pink one. Valentine, Nebraska. So. It's just a lot of fun, and I love collecting the color. And haven't found any from uh, Oklahoma yet, but uh, there is one bottle in there from Salina, Kansas. Top shelf, the third bottle over. And what, I don't know anything else I can think about saying about the display, but uh, that pretty much wraps it up what, what the category is. So it's, it's basically, one glass manufacturer at one location and all the glass that they made, insulators and bottles.